Hey guys, uh, I apologize that this video is a little bit later. I was pretty wiped out this morning. Um, I actually wanted to wait until the afternoon to make the video because of the different uh, things that we were doing today, but uh, I just got tired in the afternoon. Apparently when you get the lipids delivered right into your veins, it makes you tired and it has made me tired every day. But uh, I want to give everybody an update. So <clears throat> I got the first treatment started on Thursday um, and my uh, second blood test already came back and my liver enzymes have dropped down. My creatinine numbers have gone up. Basically every single one of my numbers has improved just from Thursday until yesterday when I did my second test. So that is fantastic. Not crazy improvement, but um, two of my liver numbers were elevated outside of normal range and they're now back within normal range. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, yesterday, uh, one of the things that we're doing is getting iron shots. Uh, because my ferritin levels are so low, they're giving me an iron shot every single day. Two mLs of iron every single day. And uh, yesterday, the needle, I didn't see it because I don't, I don't have a problem with needles, but I don't like watching them go into me. Uh, it's just a weird process. I hate giving blood, too. It's like, that's my life. What are you doing? You're stealing my life. So anyways, I just don't like watching it happen. Well, apparently the needle was like three and a half inches long. And let me tell you, when that thing was shoved in my butt, the other two I said were painful, like, you know, I had the joke, you know, something jumped up and bit me like Forrest Gump. I literally almost ripped the desk off the wall. I was in so much pain standing there getting the stinking needle. So I knew I was getting another one today. And all day long, I had this anxiety of, all right, I'm getting this iron shot. I'm getting this iron shot. I know it's not going to feel good. But fortunately, praise God, they had a different, smaller needle, and it really was not painful. Um, but it was just weird. So what did we do today? Uh... Today, we, more IVs, so every single day I get fats, carbohydrates, and amino acids, um, which is really, really, really helping the building blocks uh, of my system. Uh, we also did a memory test today. Uh, apparently, my competitive side came out. I was really hoping to just be like the best that they ever had on this test, and I wasn't the best, but um, I did score actually average and above average on every single category, so... Uh, the joke is that what is it 70% of people think they're better than the average. So anyways, most people are, are wrong about that. But in this particular case, I was either average or better than average. So I was pretty proud of that. Um, that means my brain's working. Everything else might be busted, but my brain apparently is still working. So uh, then the next thing that we did uh, was the iron shot. And then finally, the most exciting one is exosomes. And I've really been trying to do some research on what exosomes are and Basically, they are the messenger molecules from cell to cell to say what to do. So uh, when you have a, uh, a, let's say you have a cut, okay, if it gets infected, before they can start repairing that cell, you got to get the bacteria out of there. So you'll send microphages and other things in there to clean up the bacteria. And then once the infection is gone, then you will send in um, all the basic building blocks to start building new cells. And then depending upon where the cut is, the the um, signaling and the messengers will say, okay, we need this to be skin cells, we need it to be hair cells, we need it to be nail cells, we need it to be intestinal cells or pancreas cells or whatever they are. And so exosomes come from amniotic fluid and when they're injected into, the, into a human that has damage, basically they're like little scavengers that fly around your system looking for damaged tissue and then sending signals throughout the body on what is needed to repair it. Um, there is ridiculous testimonies out there. Uh, one lady, uh, within 10 days, basically um, came in as a last resort to because she had MS. I think it was, was it MS. Yes, yeah, she had multiple sclerosis, and her husband uh, got to the point where he couldn't. She she had no ability to help at all. Lift herself out of a wheelchair, stand up, bathe herself, nothing. She couldn't help anymore. And her husband was at the point where he couldn't physically lift her or do that stuff. And this was basically like a last resort before she went into a home. Uh, and within 10 days, she was walking at the clinic. Like like the craziest testimonials. Uh, and this was at the clinic that I got this stuff done. So this isn't like a third-party story. The, the doctor that's working on me had this happen with her. Um, and so they're just really excited about this new frontier. And uh, it's, it's taking stuff to the next level. So um, I'm already noticing some pretty serious results. My digestion is much better. I'm going to the bathroom consistently three, maybe four times a day. Um, they're on a pretty consistent schedule. I mean, during the afternoon and morning, I'm not having to use the bathroom. Um, I'm still, there's certain foods that might set me off a little bit. So like I had a headache a couple of days in a row and I think it might've been, I had a little bit of maple syrup. Um, I also had 
I've had some of these uh, Bragg's apple cider vinegar drinks, and that might have uh, done it as well. So I'm trying to figure out if the foods are doing it, but overall, my digestion is already, I'm noticing a substantial um, increase there. I also notice a lot better energy and just clear head. Like, I, I want to do stuff. Um, last last week, the week before, I literally just wanted the days to pass by and lay in bed, and it just, I wanted to get to where it was bedtime so I could go to sleep. Um, but now I want to, I want to engage. I want to do things. I want to get something done. The problem though, is that my fistula is still really, really painful. And so we're really aggressively trying to get, um, the infection there because it's a, basically a second butthole, uh, poop gets in there every time I go to the bathroom. Sorry. I know this is kind of disgusting. If you don't know me too well, poop is a very topical conversation with me. Um, but, uh, because of that, every time I go to the bathroom, some poop gets in there, which causes it to get reinfected. So I've got to clean it out. And I just, I think what I need to do is be more aggressive with cleaning it out um, every cup, every hour or so, so that it can keep the infection out of there and it can start to really heal. But again, these exosomes and the BPC-157 suppositories I'm doing should really be helping that. So um, I'm kind of rambling all over the place. I feel like I'm a little bit tired. Uh, Bottom line is that the exciting therapy today was the exosome, so I should really start noticing some crazy healing uh, based on what they've done with other people with that. My digestion is getting much better. The main thing right now is just the pain in the fistula. It hurts to walk. It hurts to sit. It hurts really to do everything. Um, your, your butt, <laughs> has, there's, when you're moving around, when you're sitting, there's a lot of uh, activity there. So um, anyways, overall, really good. Super excited. Tomorrow is my last day here. Uh, and then hopefully my last day with my mom being down here so she can get back to her life as well. Uh, anyways, um, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you have any questions, you know, shoot a comment or something like that. Have a good night.